I'm the ghost of Bella's past. <laughs> I do not want to meet you. <laughs> but if we were... boyfriend's hoodie if you have one <laughs> <laughs> and if you're like Brenna steal your dad's <laughs> freaking see my freaking shirt it's got Michael Jackson on it <laughs> Stella, Stella. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to our channel if you're new here I'm Brenna and I'm Bella and for today's video, we're going to be showing you our fall essentials, which is basically everything that we love for fall and that we think you guys will love for fall. We just kind of want to get you guys in the fall spirit. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy right here. <laughs> It's our little ghosty friend. So if you guys want to see all of our fall favorites, then keep on watching. So first up on our list is something that definitely gets us in the fall spirit mm -hmm. and honestly just sets the mood for fall. <laughs> <laughs> haven't guessed it yet. We're talking about candles. <laughs> Bella always has candles burning in her room like ever since we became friends and I just hate candles like I always like got so scared around them but then I started burning them in my room so I'm literally obsessed with candles like I'm not even gonna try and like lie about it yeah. I freaking love candles I'll spend all my money on candles because it just <clears throat> every scent makes you feel like a different way it just yeah. makes you feel like cozy and warm and like yeah, I know. even like in the summertime you can burn a freaking candle that smells like yeah I'm used to it now so like it's fine but yeah I still feel like I have to blow it out every time I leave the room I'm so afraid of it like burning my house down I was literally sitting in her room and she went and got Zoe and she was like make sure she went to the bathroom and I was sitting in her room and she's like Zoe make sure you tell Bella that there's a candle in my room like I was sitting there the whole time I don't think that everything's gonna light on fire <laughs> in the five minutes you're gone the first candle that we have, Brenna and I actually have the same one, mm -hmm. which is like our favorite, yeah. I think. Yeah. Which is from Bath and Body Works. It's pumpkin apple. Mm -hmm. Let me freaking tell I you. I don't even know how to like. It smells like when you walk into a craft store and then an apple pie. A craft store? Have you ever walked into like AC Moore or Michaels and it like smells like that, like. Mm. fall like mm. cinnamon smell mm -hmm. but then it smells like apple pie yeah and like cinnamon I it know. doesn't I think that the reason we love this so much like we're not huge pumpkin fans at not all at like all. there's <laughs> some things that I like that are pumpkin and like I have a pumpkin candle but I definitely prefer apple um and this smells mostly like apple and mm -hmm. I think that's why we love it so much yeah I can't definitely. even smell like pumpkin yeah but I also love like how cute the little like top on this is yeah that's one of my favorite it's got like it's little so different. tiny pumpkins yeah it's just really cute so the next candle that I have is also from Bath and Body Works it's called Cranberry Woods I also got this little magnet from Bath and Body Works I want to say it was like three or four dollars but it just like sticks on here and it just makes it look like so cute <laughs> as it falls off <laughs> um but this freaking candle. Oh yeah. I don't even know how do you even describe this? Um I cram cranberries. It smells like cranberries. Yeah. But like not but, like, overpowering. Like it smells like it mixed with something else. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like it's really calming. Like I yeah. feel like if you're going to bed. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. fall asleep with it like burning, but like <laughs> <laughs> But like it's like a good thing to like, you know. Yeah, I actually had this too. burning last night when I was like getting ready for bed I was reading for a little bit and it just it's really calming and it just smells so amazing yeah this next candle that I have I've actually never lit but <laughs> what <laughs> you didn't even tell me that no it was a gift and I just haven't like lit it yet I got it during Christmas I think it was from someone and it's more of like a fall candle so I've been waiting to light it um it's called autumn air and it looks like this Smells like doo doo. <laughs> she doesn't like it. I don't mean it smells smell it like again. It smells like apple pie. It's another one that smells like apple pie. No, this smells like hand soap. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Well, the next candle I have, Brenna doesn't like the smell of either. So you smelled it before, oh. and you said you didn't like it. 
Yeah, no, yeah. It's so yummy. So this one I actually got from Marshalls. It was four bucks. It says Hello Pumpkin. I want to say that the scent the scent is called White Trash. Pumpkin. Um, but this is definitely fall. Like this. yeah, and if you want a freaking like, it smells like you stuck your head inside of a rotting pumpkin or something. <laughs> no, it's very like cinnamony and definitely smells like pumpkin but I honestly got it because I just thought like the packaging was cute but I'll probably never light it I don't mind the smell it's but too much. like I said it's it, so I don't strong. love I don't love pumpkin so um but yeah this is nice because like Marshall's has a lot of like little tiny um candles that are super cheap like this was freaking four dollars yeah like, and definitely like if you buy stuff from Bath and Body Works don't ever buy the three wick candles at their normal price because they literally have sales all the time and it's like half price. It's yeah, like they're like, yeah, we got them for 12 bucks, yeah. So literally that's when I buy like all my candles because it's so much cheaper. Yeah. But they definitely have a really good selection for fall. So next on our list that will definitely get you in the fall mood are movies. Mm -hmm. So the movies that we have are... <laughs> This is really hard for us because Brenna doesn't like scary movies. No, I don't. And I love them. I love scary movies. I can't ever watch them. I have to watch them by myself because my boyfriend and my best friend don't like scary <laughs> movies. So, I mean, it makes it kind of hard. Yeah, well, <clears throat> first movie that we're going to start off with is Hocus Pocus. Mm -hmm. If you have never seen this movie, buy it. You need to go to Walmart right now and buy it and watch it because this is like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's no one that has never heard of this movie I don't or know. watched it before. But it's the best movie. Yeah, I don't ever. know how you can go through like October without watching that movie. Yeah. So definitely, if you wanna get into like the spooky season mm -hmm. mood, the fall mood, yeah, Halloween, definitely this is Focus a focus. definite one to watch. Next movie that's a favorite of mine is Edward Scissorhands. This I is freaking love that movie yeah. too. This is like I don't know. This one's not as like scary, but it's kind of like. It's definitely, like, got the spookiness in yeah, it. Yeah, like, but it's, like, more than that. Like, it's, like, a deep, spooky movie. Mm -hmm. But it's really good, so if you haven't watched that, I definitely recommend it. Anything that has Johnny Depp in it, watch it. Except for, except for that movie. What movie? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I hate oh, that. Oh, yeah. my God. That one That's not a good one. That was not a good one. Freaking love Johnny Depp, but I don't think I can get with that. <laughs> so, the next movie that I have that is literally, I will watch this movie all year round because it is one of my all-time favorites, is Beetlejuice. I love this freaking movie, and it just, I mean, it's definitely good for this time of year, but I'll watch it whenever. So, if you haven't seen yeah. this, I have never seen that movie. I told you that before, I've just never watched it. <laughs> We're canceling this. But in more important news, We're watching that tonight. No, we're not. Yes, we well, the next movie is the best movie of all time, and you can watch it any time of the year. Scooby-Doo. Hell that yeah. That is my favorite movie ever. The Scooby. All of the Scooby-Doo's and the cartoons. Yes. Definitely, like, the zombie cartoon mm -hmm. one and the ghost in the kitchen one. I don't remember what it's called, but you have to watch that one. And the Loch Ness Monster, just all of them. Yeah, definitely. All... Even, like, especially if you have children, yeah. like, young children, that's perfect for this time of year because, like, yeah, they're not scary or anything, so I definitely think that that's perfect, you know, because... Like, we enjoy those movies, too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's, like, an adult and a kid yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So, the next movie that I have, Brenda's not a fan of, and I tried watching this movie with my boyfriend, and we had to shut it off halfway through. Never even tried. Get through it. <laughs> the Conjuring. This movie, I like scary movies. Things like this, it doesn't scare me. Um, but it kind of was, like, a... I liked it, but it was a little bit corny for me, I feel like. It wasn't, like, it didn't really scare me. I mean, this stuff doesn't scare me anyways, but this is definitely a good one. I think that, I actually got this for Christmas, but Walmart has a lot of movies like this that you can buy, like. <laughs> I got this for Christmas. In the freaking, what's that? Five dollar bin. Five dollar bin. So this where we is get all our movies. Definitely something, if you want to watch something scary, but not be, like. Afraid for the rest of your life. Or if you don't like ghosts or stuff like that, if don't you freaking like, watch that. But if you do like ghosts, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying I like ghosts, but I don't, like, that stuff doesn't scare me, so this is a good one. 
And the last few movies I wanted to mention were um, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Definitely that one. And um, A Nightmare Before Christmas. That's one of my favorite movies. I could watch that like anytime. And then I just thought of um, The Haunted Mansion from Disney Channel. Bella doesn't remember it. No. But it had like Eddie Murphy in it and they were in this house and like there were like all the ghosts. You don't remember? No. Well, that one's like really good and it's super funny. So it's not that serious. And like the Casper that you're talking about is like the older one, right? Yeah, no, like the original Casper, the friendly ghost. Yeah. It's the best. Mm -hmm. On our list, we also have Ugh. movies <laughs> to not buy for Halloween and for fall. Brenna and I bought these last Halloween. Mm -hmm. Okay, it came in a pack. And it says that each of these DVDs has five different movies. So you get ten movies. And how much was this? Like, freaking a few bucks, I think. Yeah. Good thing it wasn't anything more than that. It was trash. These are horrible. Horrible movies. Like, I don't even know. They were so cringy. They weren't scary. <laughs> yeah, they weren't scary. And that's me saying that. They were so freaking cringy. Yeah. Like, like the was, acting was horrible. Was, we couldn't even get through five seconds. Like, we actually had to, like, stop We changed, it. like, different ones. And every single time, they it were was all horrible. Awful. So if you see these freaking movies... And it's so weird, too. Like, look, this this is, like, backwards. Like, this is supposed to be the back. But, like, if you see them, don't buy them. <laughs> if you see this, don't buy it. <gasps> Next on our list, we have some beauty items for you guys. A big fall essential for me and Brenna would definitely be lipstick. Yes. Now, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of lipstick. I don't wear it that often. I'm more of like a gloss person. But this time of year definitely makes me want to like go out of my comfort zone and wear a lot more like darker lipsticks, I would say. So Brenna and I each have some really fun, dark, kind of fallish lipsticks for you guys yeah. if you wanted to try anything out. So to start off, I chose my all-time favorite lipstick. It's Posh Spice by Jeffree Star. It's like this nude brown color, but it has a bunch of weird like purple kind of undertones in it. And it just goes with like anything. I don't know if you can really see that, but I mean, I wear it all the time, like every season, but it's just like perfect for fall like it's just one of those like fall colors um so i definitely recommend that and the formula is like super creamy never gets like crusty i'm not even kidding like i never have to really reapply it at all when i wear jeffree star's lipstick so it's definitely worth it and i think it's like 18 dollars and i've had it for a really long time so it's worth it yeah i also have a jeffree star lipstick that's really good for this time of year it was the um, Jeffree Star and Manny collaboration. This is the shade Daddy. And this is also a really great nude for this time of year. It's like... I don't even know. It's like a little darker. Yeah. And more brown. Yeah. Spice. Yeah. It's definitely like darker. But it's, it's definitely perfect for this time of year if you just want like a simple nude to pop on whenever. So I also picked another Jeffree Star one and this is Androgyny. It's sort of like pink and purple but it's like really dark. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. This one right here and it's actually really similar to the Anastasia um what's it called? The Dusty Rose lipstick. It's almost the exact same color. I just think the Anastasia one is like more pink um but the formula is the same as Posh Spice like I love that color. It goes with a lot of things too for fall. So yeah, that color is definitely like one yeah. of my favorites. Mm -hmm. The next color I have is from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the shade Love Bite. It's kind of similar to what Brenna was just talking about, but it's a little bit, it's actually a lot darker. Yeah. Um, but it just kind of has like that like, I don't know, it gives me like a rosy kind of vibe. Yeah. It's like a dusty like rose, but yeah. it's like a, a deeper dusty rose mm -hmm. it's the shade right here yeah um but it's definitely like you can pair it with a lot of different things yeah there's actually a color really similar to that it's um jeffree star it's called delicious but it's like even more purple than that i didn't bring it with me but it's like that one's really pretty too that's definitely a fall color next i have the perfect dark red lipstick for you if that's what you're looking for it's jeffree star's unicorn blood this is like, oh my god, I have been searching for a shade like this forever and when I found it, I just, I couldn't like stop myself from buying it. It's a super dark like blood red shade and it's just, I just love it with like 
really like natural makeup and then you just put it on I don't know like I feel like you I mean you can do like whatever you want with your eyes with it but I just feel like it's just such a nice like pop of color and it's just so like vampire like I don't and that's know. like a good red for this time of year because it's it's darker like, yeah it's not like a really bright, bright mm -hmm. like cherry red it's yeah like a dark like burgundy red yeah it definitely really is like a fall vibe so I have um, kind of a darker color that's similar to that. This one is by Kylie Cosmetics. It's the Coco Collection. This is the shade Gorge. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And like in the bottle, it kind of looks more like red. But then when you put it on, it's like a deeper like... I don't know. It's more like purpley, I feel like. Like a like burgundy. Like... Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Yeah. Like a brick red, sort of. Yeah. Well, the next thing I have is not an actual like lipstick shade. It's just the brand. Um, it's Dose of Colors. I love their lipstick. It's really similar to Jeffree Star's lipstick, I feel like. Um, the formula is really creamy and like you don't have to reapply it a lot. It just like stays on your lips. Um, but they have a lot of like darker brown shades that I think are like super pretty and I just like really recommend their lipstick. So any like fall shade from their collection um is definitely like a must have for this time of year next i have three different like drugstore lip products the first one is this one which brenna and i both got and i have not worn this yet brenna has and she doesn't really recommend it but it no. is the um l'oreal infallible pro matte lace chocolates i wore this actually i wore this in yeah, a did. video that we filmed recently but um, I loved it because, first of all, it freaking smells like chocolate. It smells like brownie batter. Literally. Like straight, straight up, up brownie batter. Mm -hmm. You actually want to eat that when you put it on. I'm not, like, don't wear it when you're hungry. I did it once and it's just like awful. It yeah. smells so good. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, like so dark beautiful. chocolate brown color. Like it's so nice. And like I really love about this too is like the like, applicator. The applicator yeah. is really nice too. But Brenna was, we were just talking about it, and Brenna said that it doesn't, like, you were saying it, it doesn't, like, wear well? No. It, like, when I was talking, it was, like, sticking. Like, my lips would, like, stick and pull apart, and then, like, it would look like it was flaking off. And it would feel like it was flaking off, and it was super dry, and I had to keep, like, reapplying it. I just, and it sucked because the color is, like, gorgeous. It's so freaking pretty. Yeah. But it's, like... The formula is just not, I didn't like it at all. So I guess I'll have to test it out and see. Yeah. But I mean, anything that you can find that's really like this color is yes. definitely good for this time of year. It's it's definitely like super like out there, but it like, is. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not hard to pull off. No, I think it looks really nice on like people that are super pale too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like when I put it on, I'm not as tan as I was, but like it like looks really cool. I don't know why. Yeah, it looks nice. So, the next I have is Revlon. It's the Ultra HD Matte Lipstick. But this one is a metallic one. And I wasn't sure that I was going to like this at first. Because I'm not really, like, a fan of, like, metallic. But it is, like, the coolest... I don't even know. So, it's kind of, like, gray. But it's got, like, that metallic-y, like, shine to it. And I actually wore this on Christmas last year, mm -hmm. I think. And I just fell in love with it. It wears so well. It's super creamy. And it doesn't, like, dry, like, really matte because it's, like, that metallic. And it never, like, gets, um, like, crusty or gross. I I love all of these lipsticks. And they're really inexpensive, too. They smell really good, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, I've never had an issue with them. Like, I have a bunch of them. So the next thing that I have is from NYX. It's their Intense Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Cinnamon Roll. And I am a huge fan of glosses. I really don't like lip liquid lipsticks as much. But this is so nice because it's a gloss, but it's like a dark brown color. And it's just really easy to wear. You can throw it on whenever if you don't really want to like commit to a lipstick. This is really nice because it still gives you like that color, but you don't have to worry about it like drying down to like dry or like getting cracky or flaky or anything like that. So I definitely, if you like gloss, I would definitely recommend that. So next on our list, we have nail polish and we both get our nails done with ANC when Bella gets her nails done. But um, we recommend like dark um, like oranges and like reds, just like any dark fall color really just 
kind of like gets you in the mood for fall yeah. um because like normally you wear like bright colors and like stuff in the summer and it's just like a nice transition into fall definitely will get you in the fall mood yeah brenna has this really pretty color that i actually did on my nails last year yeah. no, can i see it get up close in there well it actually kind of matches the background but it's like sparkly yeah it's mm -hmm. so beautiful it's like this like burnt orange color no nope. that's not working I don't even oh, know. Oh, wait, wait. I think you can see it now. Next on our list, we have books. Um, and this was kind of difficult because I, I mean, we both read a lot of, like, mystery books. Um, but this one book just, like, really stuck out to me. It's called There's Someone in Your House. And it is so, like, creepy and just, I don't know. It just reminds me of, like, Halloween. It doesn't actually take place during Halloween. I don't think so. Um, I don't know. But I finished this book in one day. Like, I couldn't stop reading it. I woke up, started reading it, finished it by the time I went to bed. I'm obsessed with it. Like, it's so amazing. It's just the perfect, like, I don't know. I don't want to give, like, too much away, but it's really, like, intense. And, I don't know, you just, you can't put it down, like, at all. If you want to be a little freaked out, like, definitely read it while you're by yourself because it is real. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Like, I don't know. Like, pe people, like, being in your house doesn't, like, scare me because I don't think that's, like, I don't know. That's stuff that scares Bella, that but like freaks me out. So I mean, bad. obviously, if it happened, it would scare me. But like, I don't know. It's like a really just like creepy, like intense, like someone's always watching you type of book. So I definitely recommend that. Sounds good. I'll have to read that. Yeah. I haven't read that. Um, the next books we have is something that we just both started. It's called Stolen, and basically, it's just about a girl that like gets kidnapped, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's you it just. <coughs> Um, I don't know, this kind of just gives me really, like, just, like, spooky kind of vibes and just, like, I don't know, it's kind of really horrifying to think, like, what she's going through, yeah, so, um, um, and it's not really, like, I think that it kind of is going to turn into, like, a romance, too. Yeah, I think, I think it does. So, if you like <laughs> horror and romance, not really horror, but, like, kind of freaky stuff yeah then this would probably be a good thing i do think it was a little difficult in the beginning to get into it did you have the same thing? not really i, I feel know. like i started really getting it's into kind it once of like she was like kidnapped. Though. Yeah. yeah like just like about like what she's like yeah like the part when like she first like got kidnapped like that wasn't like it took yeah. me so long to like get past it but then like once she was like actually like kidnapped it was like i don't know yeah so, and that happens, like, right in the beginning. Yeah. So, we're not, so like, not giving anything through, away. No, yeah. Like, um, but, yeah, I think that this is definitely going to be a good book, and we will let you know when we finish it. Yeah. How it was. Yeah, if we ever continue that series. Mm hmm If any of you guys are looking for something to watch on TV this time of year, I would definitely recommend American Horror Story. There are, I believe, I don't even know how many seasons are out right now. I want to say, like, the one that's, like, out on TV right now is, like, the 7th or 8th. Actually, I'm going to look it up really quick because I don't freaking remember. The season that's out right now is season 8. So, and all of the other seasons that they have are on Netflix. So, I definitely would recommend if you've never watched that show and you're looking for something to watch, this is, like, a binge-watching show. I freaking love this show. And every season is different. So, there's definitely, like different things to get into. My favorite seasons, I would say, probably were Murder House, which is the first season, Coven, which is the third season, and then I want to say, what did I just finish watching? Hotel, which I think is the fifth season, if I'm correct, but honestly, they're all good, and they're definitely freaky, so if you're into that kind of stuff, I would definitely recommend that. If you're also looking for, like, other creepy things to watch, you could really watch anything on the ID channel. Like, it's super creepy, and it's, they're, like, real stories. They're just, like, reenactments, so it's, like, they have Twisted Sister, and it's, like, about, like, siblings, like, killing people and, like, stuff like that, or they just have, like, a bunch of, like, murder mystery things, um, and they're super freaky, and it's just, like, crazy to think, like, stuff like that actually happens in real life, so if you're definitely... Like, into that stuff, I'd watch that, too. That definitely wouldn't be for me. <laughs> I hate stuff that's, like, actually happened, because then it freaks me out, and then I think it's going to happen to me, so. <laughs> I'll stick with my American Horror Story. <laughs> oh, my God, we should just, like, cover ours up. Should we? Them. I didn't know that's what you meant. 
Oh, you went like this? You look like Cousin It. <laughs> Maybe that's where I was going. <gasps> the Adams Family! You have to watch The Adams yes, Family! Yes, definitely. We need I to watch I didn't mean that. to leave that out. <laughs> oh, I freaking love that movie. Okay, so if you can't tell. <laughs> Next on our list are cozy blankets. Yes. This is essential. Essential. Eccentric. <laughs> Ew, you're so gross. Or Anyway, okay, no, but these are definitely like essential for this time of especially year. Especially if you come to Bella's house all the time where it's 50 degrees. I like you it cold. I like always it. sweat. I have a sweating problem. Well, just so you know, I'm anemic always people hot. are not allowed. So, <laughs> watching out um, for you guys. <laughs> but let me tell you, okay, both of these. It's like a bat. <laughs> blankets I got from Marshalls. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good. They were really cheap, I'm pretty sure. This one... You did not get that from oh, Marshalls. Oh, no, I didn't. You got that from okay, Walmart. Okay, one of these blankets I got from Marshalls. <laughs> Thanks, Bren. Okay, so this I got from Marshalls. I'm pretty sure it was really cheap, but I love it because it's got the little skulls on it. And in my room, I have this, like, thing that's, like, a skull, and I put, like, my um, perfumes on it, so it kind of goes. But it's just really, like, spooky and nice for this time of year and it's really cozy this i got at walmart it was super cheap too but i love that it has this like lamb fur on the inside yes oh since i bought this i literally have not put it down like i just will walk around the house like rolled up in a blanket shower yeah. bathroom yep yeah. everything it's nice at Brana's house because she has heated floors so you can just kind of like roll up in your blanket and just lay on the floor mm -hmm. and be nice and cozy <laughs> So yeah, but Is definitely. That what you did when I was gone. No. <laughs> but I should have. No, it's actually, better when for it, your body. To yeah, sleep when in it's cold. thirty degrees in the winter, Bella still has her freaking fan on in her bedroom, and that's disgusting, and it's a disgrace. <laughs> so she needs to fix that because I'm not doing it again this year. Okay, honestly, if you don't freaking sleep with the fan on while you're like, if you don't have a fan on while you're sleeping, you're a freak. I don't have a fan on. While you're I'm a freak. Sleeping. You're. I love okay. Please, if you're watching this video, comment down below. If nobody you cares what you have to say. No, if nobody you, cares. If you sleep with a fan, comment down below because I guarantee. The well, maybe they can't afford a fan. You're making them feel really bad. You're okay, if you can't, really bad. if you can't afford a fan this time of year, we got a little hack for you. Just open your window in your bedroom no. while it's cold outside. Let the nice breeze come in. Perfect. You wake up as an ice cube, but you got a cozy blanket. And you just snuggle up. And to top it all off, if you just <laughs> throw some cookies in the oven and you just put some whipped cream on your apple pie, preferably. My dad's pie. Oh yeah, preferably, preferably, <laughs> preferably. Yep, the apple pie her dad makes, or you can buy some from like Price Shop. But make sure it's not the overly fur. sweet kind because it's. Uh. Okay, so preferably, did I say it right? Yeah. Okay, the Pillsbury little cookies. Mm -hmm. They have little ghost ones, Pumpkins. little pumpkin ones. Her mom got Scooby Doo ones. Yes. Those are definitely perfect while you're cover Okay. While you're carving some little pumpkins. Yep, you can eat them raw. It's not recommended, but I mean But we do it anyway. anyway. So those are the best raw. Yeah. Those are so good. The cinnamon challenge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Also, one more thing, if you don't have like a cozy blanket, definitely we would recommend for this time of year, which is like super essential, is a hoodie. Any yes. kind of like cozy hoodie that you can wear with anything, just throw it on in the winter when you're, or not in the winter, in the fall, in the winter too, but when you <laughs> get like a little cold and you just need a little something, you can grab your boyfriend's hoodie or if you're like Brenna, just steal your dad's hoodie <laughs> if you don't have a boyfriend. It all works the same. Okay, you can spray yeah. your favorite men's cologne in there. No one would even know that you don't have a boyfriend. Okay, you could just pretend and everything will be okay. So I think that that wraps up our fall yes. essentials video. Yep. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to stay up to date with all the videos that we post, you can follow us on our joint Instagram. It's at Brenna and Bella, or you can follow us on our Prince. <laughs> or you can follow us on our personal Instagrams. We hope you guys have a super fun fall. Let us know if you liked any of these little tips that we gave you, things that we love for fall. Comment down yeah. below your favorite things for fall. We'd definitely like to know. Yes. And we will see, see you, you in our time. next... <laughs>
No, that wasn't good. We're not the Dolan twins. We can't read <laughs> no. each other's minds, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Down. <laughs> Hey girls. Hey kitty girls. Okay, Sally, let's go. Oh my god, can you not call me Sally? Like, nobody freaking likes Bella. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Oh, that was a freaking good one. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Did you actually stop? <laughs> Why is that stuff on the side of the camera? I can't even see myself. <laughs> Are you gonna like fix it? <laughs> is that better? No. Be showing you our fall favorites slash essentials. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing on our list is to light them on fire. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. We look like cockroaches. Don't we? And for today's video... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think we need to... I just spit everywhere. Do you see that? Wait, don't. No, I'm gonna spray it okay. this way. You swear. So I'm gonna really spray it in your mouth. You might. <laughs> and did it go in? You tried this way. Stop, just stop. There's like a tiny little box. I know, I can see it. Okay, so next I have. There. We're putting that in there. There's no way we're taking that out. Two, three. <laughs> was like, Hi guys. <laughs> so Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Brenna. And I'm Bella. And today we're talking about blankets. Oh my god. Are you freaking shitting me? <laughs> Wait, is it showing? The butt is all dirty. <laughs> hey brother. <laughs> Hey, brother. I looked like a turtle. <laughs> I hated that. Oh, what did it look like? You were like. You were like. <laughs> What's up, my homies? <laughs> What's up, my G's? 